Shells are located between the status line and panel toolbar and hold commonly used tools and actions. They provide a quick alternative to accessing commands through the Maya menus, which usually involves making sure you're in the right menu set. Shelves are split into tabs based on the different modules and feature sets in Maya, such as polygon modeling, animation, rendering, and cloth simulation. To save space, we can hide the shelf tabs and use the shelves menu to switch between them. Now let's create a new shelf and name it My New Shelf. There are several ways to go about populating a shelf. We can add an action from a menu by holding Ctrl and Shift and then click the desired menu item. We can also add a tool by middle mouse dragging it to our shelf. To copy a tool from a different shelf onto ours, hold Ctrl and middle mouse drag it to our shelf. To remove a tool, middle mouse drag it onto the trash icon in the upper right corner of the shelf bar. Shelves are also useful for storing Mel and Python scripts. For example, let's say we need to duplicate these tombstones and reposition them somewhere else in the graveyard. We could do it manually, but it would take a long time and errors could potentially slip in. Instead, we'll convert these repetitive operations into a script that we'll store in our shelf. First, open the script editor, which shows a history of every command executed in Maya. Now let's duplicate the first tombstone, move it across the graveyard, and rotate it 90 degrees. Notice how the script editor lists all individual instructions as mail commands. We can now highlight sections of the script we want to use and middle mouse drag them into the bottom pane of the script editor. Now that we've isolated our script, let's middle mouse drag it directly onto our shelf. A new script icon appears containing our mail commands. We can now select all other tombstones and execute the script, which will apply the mail commands to each one. By creating custom scripts like this to fit our needs, we can be much more efficient. Here, starting from our original script, we'll change the rotate command value from 90 to 30 degrees and save it as another script. Now we can use this to rotate any object by 30 degree increments. Having these scripts is great, but it's hard to tell them apart. To fix this, we'll go to the shelf editor and customize them further. The shelf editor lists all our loaded shelves, their respective contents, as well as various icon related display settings. Here we'll select our second mail command and rename it to Rotate 30 Degrees. We'll also use that name as a tooltip. The next two tabs display the mail or Python commands associated with clicking and double clicking the selected tool, respectively. Let's highlight the mail command from the command tab and copy it to the double click command tab. Replace the relative flag with an absolute one and set all rotation values to zero. This allows us to not only rotate objects by increments, but also to reset them by double clicking the script icon. Click Save All Shelves to save changes made to our loaded shelves. Shells are stored as mail files in the Shelves folder in the Maya Preferences. These files can be edited externally and shared with others.